It. Why can't you? Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. <laughs> How about we go get some popcorn? <laughs> Time for the circus. We can go on all the rides. It's okay. Mummy won't mind. I was sitting here bored with nothing to do. So I began bouncing wild theoretical possibilities around to ease my conundrum and began looking into the latest research techniques of genetic augmentation methods and came across this project the use is a photon manipulator to fire two beams of photon particles into the optical cortex and splices the neurosynaptic signal being transmitted in your brain and alters your genetic code from there augmenting your DNA code in a split nanosecond window of neurosynaptic firing. This technique is called submillisecond 2 photon optogenetics with temporally focused patterned light and this is a diagram of their basic design of the photon manipulator. I deemed it mad scientist worthy and made note for later boredom. Later that day I was going over debates on quantum field particles and someone mentioned something that clicked. Neutrinos pass through the physical universe unaffected by solid objects. They can pass through the planet and their momentum is not disturbed by it nor their course. A light bulb lit, using this photon manipulator and alter the signal reception to emit and receive neutrino wavelengths then we could fire a two beam neutrino particle into the gravity well of the black hole and receive a signal as it passes through and map it much like mapping geological surveys do with X-ray techniques to view underground.
Well, Arkadishim, one thing I can tell you is that the universe is not 14.7 billion years old, as they say. It was a simple miscalculation due to the redshift barrier that occurs on the edge of what we call the observable universe. This redshift is tied into the reasons that built the quantum theories of galactic redshift patterns in galaxies that have grown too distant for us to ever be capable of reaching, even at the speed of light, for they have increased in velocity and distance to the point of traveling at the speed of light. We would never reach them. At that distance, the image we receive, they say, turns into a red hue, much like an object does when it falls into a black hole. This distance is only defined by that limit of our ability to observe, and that distance sets the standard of the universe's Big Bang Theory's timeline, who have begun at 14.7 billion years ago. But that is incorrect. That is only the limit of our observational limits. These galaxies prove this to be other than what they think, and in fact, the universe is 538 billion years old. This universal expansion, that is, this is in fact the fourth formation of the universe's existence since the true beginning of the universe, but they are beyond our ability to observe not just because of distance, but because of the difference in particle structure and formation of the fabrics of the universe during that time. Think of it like this, for times the universe has had a Big Bang moment, solid particle formation cycle, and then collapse back into its primary state of the primordial void before expanding once. Again, once the Hawking radiation had dissipated enough within the massive black hole that devours all things at the end of each cycle, and the gravitational force that holds the black holes, formation and effect falls apart, releasing all the atomized and stripped particle matter loose, and thus the Big Bang effect occurs and expansion begins again. This effect is usually set at a length of approximately 538 billion years per cycle, thus making the true universal age to be four, one quintillion years old, as we are currently in the early developmental age of this universe's cycle, by the 14.7 billion years observational limits calculation. However, having, let us just say, had extensive research into this subject and through my theoretical calculations, combined with the current technological innovations of mankind, I have developed a possible process that can end the universal paradox process and lead the universal formation into a consistent state of universal expansion without collapse by adding some alterations to the universal fabrics through a process similar to the two-way photon beam optimum genetic augmentation device that fires a coated instructional beam into the fabrics of the Higgs boson photon field that can set certain types of universal processes into motion that will design a type of recycling filtration process that gathers the remnant particles of decaying matter and uses the excess particle matter to create a self-sustaining, self-generated process that loops all decaying particle matter through the black hole ejection process of its relativistic jets firing these remnant particles from the alpha to the omega of existence's limits to compensate for the excessive structural mass of ever-increasing matter. I had designed branches of universal particle formation through the evolution of photon energy resonance vibration. But now having calculated the data of updated information I will have to toss the theory to the side for now based on the fact that we are only able to see up to a certain distance of 14, 7 billion light years, but these universal objects show that our observational limits are still only a small portion of the full universal model and the bubble-like theoretical model that we so far have mapped can be labeled and referenced through the cultural titles of Midgard of Norse legends and that is basically the limit of what we have proof of through the observed physical possibilities. These other six galactic objects that lay beyond the 14, 7 billion light-year distance to be images of other bubble-type universes we are seeing such as our own observable universe, or they could be many other possibilities that can be narrowed down once. More data has been collected.